but we're not worried about that. Let the fun move on. We got more bracket ahead of us. And right now, we have House of 3000's own Frozen fighting off against Smock back at it again on stream. And this is a matchup I feel like if you've been paying attention to Smash Ultimate even a little bit, you've probably seen uh, you know a fair share of time, right? A Wolf, Palutena, these are kind of shaping up to be some of the most prominent characters in the meta uh, because of how versatile their tools are. Palutena, not necessarily the super fastest character in the game, but managed to have some ranged tools and just some very long-lasting hitboxes to contend with some of the faster characters in the game. I feel like they both fill very different roles in the meta, but both very important roles. They're both not particularly matchup super heavy. They're not getting picked into characters because they steamroll someone. They just have very good general tools. Where Palutena, she's able to hold neutral very well with a minimalist kit, and Wolf able to pack a wallop behind every hitbox he throws out. But there's one thing I want to highlight. I feel like Palutena fits Frozen's style very well, not just because of how good of a player he is and his just sense of experience. Palutena's movement very reminiscent to past iterations of Mewtwo, which Frozen is very familiar with. So don't be surprised if you see a lot of teleport shenanigans or spacing around with explosive flame that seems fairly unique to Frozen as a player. And that initial dash speed is also pretty OD as well. It feels like Palutena is a mile away, but just before you know it, Zoop, that initial dash cam throwing out a hitbox. I hope you were ready. But on the same side, Smog, uh, you know, he needs to figure out a little bit something for himself here. And I've been talking about how, wow, that just straight up KO. That move is so janky sometimes. It is so janky sometimes. One, it's called Fire Wolf. Where's the fire? Two, the hitbox does that. What's that about? I, hey, listen, man. He's bringing he's bring the heat. He keeps that strap on 24-7. But you know, that, that, that's one of the biggest things uh, about Wolf. We've seen a lot of players, especially most notably Zach Ray, use the up B to recover in more scenarios than not because of how easy it is to contest with the side B, the Wolf Flash. And especially a character like Palutena can stuff that out pretty easily. I just want to point out Frozen got his kill with Jab. Yeah. But that, <laughs> that recovery was just. A little terrible, just, just a little bit. Just a, just a wee garbage. Although if there's anything that I've learned from seeing Smock in this tournament, is that he does a good job of erasing his bad habits. On multiple occasions, he's got caught in either predictable movement patterns, making like unusually bad choices as far as what move to approach with, or just poor positioning. But it doesn't persist for the whole set. It's as though it's a poorly behaved child getting a slap on the wrist. He sees he's doing something bad, and then he just stops. And as soon as he gets that slap on the wrist, he starts becoming dangerous. Because a wolf in smart hands is always dangerous. Yeah, of course, man. If you hit your kid, of course they're going to become dangerous. I don't I don't support hitting your kid. Hangman, what's wrong with you? <laughs> what's wrong with you? W wolf looks like the kind of guy who's beating his kids. I'm just saying. Oh, no. Yo! <laughs> I don't know about all that, but what I do know is that this is a children's game, and like such, these characters, they just faint when they get knocked out. They're not dead. They're not they're not killed. They're just, they're just I, faint. I just want to they're point out, Mega break. Man explodes into barnacles when he gets knocked out. He's just teleporting out. That's it. A word? Back to base. <laughs> Dr. Light wondering why his kid's coming <laughs> home with bruises every, like, three minutes. Well, man, Smock making it work, right? I mean, especially with how it seemed like Frozen was kind of commanding the flow of the neutral with the start of that first stock, but then that kind of like really janky kill with the uppy put Smock in a position where he was able to play from a lead. And it looks like he feels a lot more comfortable doing so, right? He's backing off a little bit, he's biding his time, he's shooting that gun a little bit to say, hey, I'm gonna threaten, just so you know, you need to come in at some point. He's been able to fight Frozen in that scenario where he tries to get an opening like we just saw right there. See, now this is what I was talking about earlier with Smock. That was a great initiation for his combo. But why did he go for down air? He got caught for it, back throw. All of a sudden, they're starting to tie up. But few hits, good combo from both sides. Smog puts on plenty of damage. And now Frozen trying to reassert that stage control. Gets himself back to center stage. And now he's getting popped up. We're back in the jungle. Ooh, well, I'm wondering, man. He does have a bit of a percent lead. Frozen making that small gap close even quicker, though. I'm wondering. Will this end up being lost to an offstage scenario? Will Frozen decide to go offstage to a drag down there like we see a lot? Or is he going to keep letting Smock recover with the double jump to the upbeat from low? Because these low recoveries have been paying off tremendously for Smock. And that was a great recovery from Oh, Fr why? Why, dog? Man. You know what I, you know I think might have happened? I think he thought he was probably going to 
grab ledge. You know what I mean? He was like at that distance where he was like, all right, even if I whip this, I'm probably going to fall and grab ledge. And maybe he just didn't tilt it the correct angle and just ended up not grabbing it. But uh, That's such a shame. But like, that's what I was talking about. Sometimes he just makes these poor decisions here and there. But I can tell you this right now, we're probably not going to see that the rest of this set. Mm. He learned his lesson because he just threw away the game one from that SD. It's a very unfortunate, but you can't afford to be doing something like that against a player like Frozen. And it looks like, I mean, just judging by what I see here from the stage, a striking little part of the overlay that we had, it looks like they're actually going to opt to go to Unova, which, you know, I always like to mention because I think it's one of those stages that's different enough uh, from PS2 to be viable in a stage list no matter what. You know what I mean? Like, sure, some people run it, some people don't, but it definitely has its merits and its own unique properties to it. So we're going to see how that pays out for my man Smog right here. I especially love this stage as a counter pick, especially against teleporting based characters. There's not a lot of room on this stage to really maneuver yourself. So even accounting for teleport movement, you have very predictable positioning. And look how well Smock was able to stand at right dead center of the stage to punish the teleport cancel. And it's also worth noting, this stage does not have straight walls. They're curved. They do have an impact on teleporting characters' recoveries. So Frozen has to be extra careful with how he returns to the stage, thus forcing him to be much more linear than someone like him would prefer to be. Exactly, this is exactly one of those stages where Paul Utena, Teleport recoveries, you said it, whether you're Mewtwo or whatever. Ooh, clean two frame, right? It's really hard to recover here, but Frozen managing to find a needle in the haystack, getting that option to get him to the stage safely, but that's gonna be something we're gonna be looking out for the entire set. How is Frozen gonna try to recover? Okay, there we go, laser coming out from Smog. Man, Frozen really just likes to go for these teleport uh, cancels off the weather stand. Hey, I told you, man, platforms. His history repeats himself. Like, Smash gave Frozen the character he gets to move around with. He takes what he can get. I would have never expected Palutena to be the kind of character to really showcase what makes Frozen to be such a strong player. He's I one of those it. players from New York who I've always, like, believed can just make it work. I personally didn't think Korn was the kind of character for him in Smash 4, but Palutena in his hands is working super strong. It's doing so well for him because I mentioned this, I always say that Palutena has a fairly minimalist kit, and by that I mean you get to do so much with Nair. You get to accomplish a lot with how you force with dash attack and bam. Forward air leads into so much. You don't need to worry about what you do with the rest of your kit because you get so much off of these moves. Look at him go, right? Like, you know, despite the counter pick, you know, really hasn't played much of anything in terms of dealing with Frozen recovery. Yeah, he's out here. Smog trying to confirm the KO, finally finds it right there. But, you know, in terms of the actual neutral game, finally gets a big conversion to a combo here. Ooh, beautiful, I believe, four piece combo coming from Smog. You just gotta make it count. Mm -hmm. Like, we could say it a million different ways, but I feel like at this point it goes without saying. Wolf gets in, Wolf hits hard. Smog needing to make it count, I feel, is a punishment, and he needs to do something besides put the damage on. Confirming the kills is going to be super important because regardless of how well the stage is done in lo locking down a lot of Frozen's movement options, it hasn't really slowed down his assault. Ruthless onslaught, if you will, but they ain't got no Mies on screen. But you can just see how, oh wow, right in his face too? Oh, he's gonna break his back real quick. Yup, lean him back to get that KO. Smock potentially on the verge of being down 2-0 in the set. If Frozen is able to continue playing the way he has, and he just got himself a clean 34% conversion, he's looking very comfortable to stage, barely playing a factor at all. Smock needs to find his answer ASAP. Now the dash attack is going to be able to give him the stage control, but he needs to make something out of this situation. An unfortunate dash attack back is going to give back the ledge to Frozen. And Frozen's gotten on decent percentage thus far into the stock. He's really making a stretch. And I've also said this before about Palutena in general, not just uh, Frozen. Like, you get so much off the stock advantage. Not just with Palutena, but in this game. But Palutena could do so much with that. From the little hits here and there to, like, having complete control of the tempo of a battle. Whether or not you want to slow things down with auto reticle and spacing out back airs or speed things up, really put the pressure down on your opponent. Now, one thing I will say that I do like from Smoth is that in scenarios where he has frozen kind of by the ledge, 
get that KO right there. Um, in those scenarios where he has frozen by the ledge and he's trying to recover from above, uh, usually he just opts to kind of cover the teleport in option because he probably knows that teleport cover recoveries from above do not give you that option to get two frames when you're going to the ledge. So a smart awareness from him just covering what he can actually cover uh, instead of trying to cover something that there, there's no point in it, right? You can't, you just can't. It's why I actually really like watching Smart play because even though he has some of these glaring faults in his play, there's there's a lot of bits and pieces to Smart play. The way that he goes about positioning on the stage, making some decisions, they're really good. And what is very dangerous when he can do those kind of things, but I feel like Frozen's really turning the screws on him, really putting Smock in a position where he cannot afford to make any of these bad decisions anymore because it's costing him tons of percentage, all the stage control, mm -hmm. and in multiple occasions now stocks. So he's in a scenario. He's down two games in the set. You know, of course, it's the best of five. Uh, for anyone who's just tuning in for this top 32, I believe these are all top 16 qualifiers. Or they might even, I don't even know where necessarily we are. Oh, yeah, I think we're deep at this point. Bracket, but we're getting very close to top 8 qualifiers if we haven't already been hitting some of those. Um, especially combined with the two streams left and right. But man, what a ride it has been. Of course, this is going to mean so much to both these players kind of get just that little bit further in bracket. Now, of course, this is, I believe, a C tier PGR that event is just shy. Just shy of hitting that BTR. I believe we had like 392 entrants or 394, something like that. And I believe it's 400 entrants to qualify for a B tier. So we were so close, but I'm sure the next collision will hit it no problem, especially with how amazing this venue is. I'm sure more people will come through and RJ does an immaculate job. It's, it's really worth mentioning that this is so early on in the life of Ultimate, but especially so here in Tri-State. This is just the beginning for us. We're gonna grow from mm -hmm. here. It only gets better, baby. And we gotta see where we go, at least with this set alone. Looks like they're gonna go right back into it. Wolf and Palutena, we'll see what goes on. As we start it on Final Destination. You know, that, that, that might be the change that he needs. He tried to go to Unova, he was like, I know that teleport recoveries uh, can get janked up pretty hard here, maybe that'll help me out. But really, it didn't really see him play any part in that last game. Frozen seemed so comfortable, so he was like, all right, let me just try a different stage where I can try to streamline most of the offense as well, right? There's no platform to worry about. Don't really have to be like, oh, he's covering from above. I'm just trying to play this left-right game and see how he deals with that. Wolf does have very strong offense when it comes to approaching in a linear fashion, whereas for Palutena, uh, it can become very heavily streamlined. She might jump up. Oh, she's gonna do a falling fair or a falling backer, depending on if her back is worthy or not. With that said, if she does uh, a dash forward into a neutral air, well, that's a very heavy commitment for something if it wins. So, hopefully, maybe that's what Smog's looking out for. Maybe if I make it that much more obvious what I need to do, I can confirm myself a little bit of something here, get a game on the board. But Frozen, I was gonna let that happen. Going for more bold options in this kind of a do or die situation is so important. It matters so much. Because like, we've seen time and time again now, just on this stream alone, that taking back that game three, it can lead to so much more. It could bring you to that game five, and maybe that's what Smock needs. Maybe he needs to just rejuvenate himself. He's gonna throw himself right into Frozen's arms, lose that first stock, but he's not out of it just yet. Call out that grab with the back end. It's not gonna kill just yet, but Smock's gonna figure out what he does when he gets to the ledge here, because now he's starting to find himself in a position where Frozen's constantly forced to the ledge, he's back in the corner. And Wolf loves going in for the kill when that happens. Yeah, and I also feel like that seems to be where Smog is struggling as well. He pushes him to the corner, and that's like a great spot to be in as Wolf, but he can't seem to get the correct option to actually confirm the KO. Once again, resetting it again, and Frozen finds his way back to the stage. Smog has not been able to get the kills when he has him in a ledge trapping situation. Here we go again, he loses out another time. He has to figure out what option, I and mean, that's twice now he decided to attack from the ledge. So maybe it's now it's time to wait and shield and do an up smash out of shield. A little bit of misposition from Frozen. He's going to give Smock a second lease on life here, but right off the Angel platform, we see Frozen start swinging immediately. This match is to determine who has to fight right to make it into the top eight winner's side. Also, you know Frozen wants this opportunity to smack up another space seed. Judging by the way it's going thus far, it very likely 
could be what we see here. Frozen has 142 on Smok. If there's anything I've noticed, Smok has done a very bad job of approaching him in the corner generally, and he finds himself getting back thrown when he's at percents this high. So he needs to be very careful. Frozen is actually hanging by the sides quite a bit, even though he's down in percent. It's like he's fishing for that back throw. Now, the unfortunate thing about Final Destination for Palatema is, of course, it, her movement's going to be very linear. But I feel like Frozen's been working well under these conditions. Fighting out from the corner has worked out so well for him. And taking note that Spock hasn't been doing well in securing kills at the ledge, it just it puts all the more chips into Frozen's corner. And now Spock on his potential last stock of life and winner side of bracket here, Collision, it's, it's looking grim flamber. I'm not going to front. Man, that back air might have put a little ray of hope into the sky. This is the beginning of when you load in Smash Ultimate, and you have Kirby, the Lone Soul, looking and saying, all right, I'm the only one I can do this. That is what Small needs to be right now. He needs to save himself from what could be a very grim 3-0 and a handshake, because otherwise, we're going to see Frozen going off to fight Light. And that will be the case, the wings of God sealing that stuff. She snapped. She out of here. She snapped. And Frozen, he's moving on his way to top 16. Fighting off against Light, it's going to be a very different kind of battle. But hey, he earned his way fair and square here. Fair and square. All fair right. Fair and square.